I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Bigfoot or Sasquatch. I take two fingers a little over towards the left at the top and I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left I'm going to draw a curved line down, out, and then in and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, I'm going to draw a curved line down, straight line, and leave that floating. Right about here I'm going to put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw straight line, curve line, up, curve line down, out, and stop. Come back to the dot. I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line out, up, connect. I come over here to the left hand side and I'm going to draw a straight line, curve line at the bottom. Continue the curve line down, around, up, up, and leave that floating. Come right about here above that line and we're just going to draw a slightly curved line down. Okay? Now I come in and I put a dot and I draw a curve line down, curve line out, curve line down, straight line over. Come back up. We're just going to put a little curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Right about here at the top I'm going to draw a curve line up, connect, I come back down and I'm going to draw a straight diagonal out, straight diagonal in, straight diagonal down, curve line, straight line, leave that floating, come back up here to the top, we're going to draw a straight diagonal down, straight diagonal out, curve line, down, curve line around, and connect. Okay, I have a floating line right here. I'm just going to connect it. And now I come back up to the top. And I'm just going to put a dot. I'm going to put a little bridge, curved line, and another dot. And I'm going to leave that alone. Okay? Alright. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, every time I color this, I make him a little bit different, and we're lucky he's furry. So I'm just going to go with my brown crayon up, down, up, down, all the way over all of the black lines. And this is kind of easy because it doesn't matter if you go over the lines. You want to go over the lines because he's a very furry creature. So every black line that you drew, now you go over it with an up, down, up, down, kind of like a close zigzag line with your brown color. All the way up, all the way down. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, so we're going to do almost like a triple color here. So first I do my brown and it can be as furry as I want. Then I go over that intermittently. That means every once in a while with a black crayon. And it's the same thing. I don't do the whole line. I just come in and do parts of it to kind of give him a little bit more furry shading. And I'm following my brown lines, and I'm following my black lines, and I'm coming up, and I just put some black over those lines. And notice that I'm trying to follow the way the line was drawn. 
okay so like up here I want this kind of humpy part he's got going on like that okay then if you have gray you color the whole thing gray and that's because we want his base coat to be already colored in like so because now you're going to go back with your brown and you're going to come back in and color parts of him brown now I didn't put on a nose I didn't put on a mouth because this Bigfoot or this Sasquatch or this Yeti he has many names should be recognizable just from his silhouette from the way he looks okay alright let's see what my first one looks like okay here is my Bigfoot Sasquatch Yeti all colored in I didn't do the background because he can be found in all kinds of different environments so you could put mountains if he was a Yeti or a forest if he was a Sasquatch I'll leave that up to you Plus, he might look cool, cut out, put on another piece of paper to give it some weight, cut it out again, and have him stand up. That'd be way cool. Okay, bye-bye.